everyone and welcome to another video. In this one, I am going to be doing a best class setup as well as a weapon guide for the Swordfish Tactical Rifle here in Black Ops 4. So if you guys actually did not know, tomorrow at the time me making this video, Black Ops 4 Update 1.13 is going to be dropping and in Update 1.13, the Swordfish is actually going to be getting a buff. So if that's so come, what I want to go ahead and do for this video is do a best class setup for the Swordfish so that way when Black Ops 4 Update 1.13 drops and the Swordfish ends up getting buffed, you guys have a really awesome awesome creator class that you can use. So yeah, now that I got the intro out of the way, let's actually dive right into the video. So of course guys, the first thing that I am going to be talking about in this video, and that's going to be discussing the Swordfish Tactical Rifle. Now, the Swordfish Tactical Rifle is one of the final weapons that you unlock in the game, being that you unlock the weapon at level 55 alongside the combat knife. The Swordfish is of course a 4 round burst tactical rifle in the game, and it's actually very similar to the MAA7 from Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The Swordfish Tactical Tactical Rifle is a very consistent heavy hitting weapon in the game and it has almost zero recoil. And those aforementioned reasons make the Swordfish one of the best weapons in the game. So yeah guys, now I am going to be moving over to the creative class I have for this video. And guys, as you can see, the creative class is going to be on your screen right now. And of course guys, we are going to be using the Swordfish with that diamond camo. Moving over to the attachments, the first attachment is going to be a red dot sight. And that's just because if you guys actually did not know, for every single Tactical Rifle in Black Ops, for they have their own particular scope on that weapon and honestly the scope for the swordfish tactical rifle isn't really too bad however i do prefer using a red dot sight just so that way it's a little bit easier to take out enemies moving over to the other attachments i am going to be using hybrid mags and that's just because you want to be able to reload as quickly as you possibly can and you are going to be getting a little bit of extra ammo which is always very nice moving over to the third attachment we are going to be using quick draw and that's just because you want to be able to get your iron sights up as quickly as you possibly can to lock on to enemies and take them out and then moving over to the final attachment we are going to be using the operator mod now guys if you actually did not know the operator mod for the swordfish tactical rifle is actually called pentaburst and what it does is it turns the swordfish from a four round burst rifle into a five round burst rifle just making the weapon a lot more consistent and since it's actually a five round burst rifle once you put on the operator mod it means that you can very consistently get a one burst kill if you are going to be shooting the enemy in the upper chest as was the head moving over over to the gear, of course, we are going to be using Stim Shot, and then the perks are going to be Scavenger as well as Ghost. So yeah, guys, now I am going to be talking about how you should play with this particular class in Black Ops 4. Now guys, that's the thing about the Swordfish Tactical Rifle. The most effective range to use this weapon is to use it at medium to longer ranges, and that's just because the Swordfish is a very low recoil as well as high damage heavy hitting weapon. So that means it is going to be very effective as well as very deadly at medium to longer ranges. However, it's not really the best weapon to use at close range and that's just because since it is a burst fire rifle in the game and the hip fire spread isn't really too great that means it will not be performing too great at close range however if you stick to those medium to longer ranges you can absolutely melt people with this particular class setup so yeah guys that's going to be the weapon guide portion of this video now before i actually close off this video i want to go ahead and talk a little bit about update 1.13 so of course with update 1.13 is of course going to be releasing tomorrow and a lot of new content content is going to be coming into the game, such as new weapons as well, something that's very cool, and that's there are going to be some fan favorite game modes releasing into the game relatively shortly. Some of these game modes are going to be infected, prop hunt, fracture, as well as other game modes. Alongside that, Operation Shamrock and Awe is going to be coming back in March, which is really cool. This is of course going to be the third time that we saw Operation Shamrock and Awe, and this time it is going to be in Black Ops 4. Alongside that, we are going to be seeing some new DLC weapons as well as Master crafts and even there are going to be two new maps coming into the game if you do own the black ops pass so generally speaking there's a lot of new content that is going to be coming into the game very shortly which is really awesome so yeah guys that's going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well as make sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on so that way you guys will not miss new upload from me so yeah that's going to be it for this video i hope to see you in the next one